Hi beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sandra and this is Beyond Tech Absolutely, a place for understanding tech and creating exciting narratives around it. So today I want to do something different. I am taking you with me to what I told you if you watched my introduction video. I'm a business uh, analyst and a product manager. So BAPM, whichever you want to call me. So normally my day starts from uh, 5, 5 a.m. I do just wake up, uh, go through a lot of uh, emails, if I have pending stuff. Today, I only have scrum sessions. So let's go, let's go to the office. takes me like um, 10 to 15 minutes to get to work I uh, just depends on the traffic jam so in this time I just try to use it to just meditate pray worship sing because there's a lot of things that will be happening on the on the road so one thing about me is I love doing different things so I don't like really have like a morning routine when I'm going to work it's but really essential to just do something that just makes your mood be in the work mode so just don't try to uh, overcloud yourself with bad news or like read news that might just affect you you know so I also try to avoid reading headlines because hey sometimes the headlines might just shock you you'll be like okay what does that mean there's so many misleading headlines I've seen that are there and when you read the story you'll be like okay I know it's a marketing game we need a traffic reporting application i mean if i would know that this road uh, is congested or whatever but well you only need to focus on that like i mean your morning is the most productive time so you can't really like focus on things that will just spoil your mood affect your productivity because as a ba you need to use your brain like i mean you're practically paid to think to think, to scope, to imagine, to remember. So your brain needs to function uh, fully. Like when someone says something, you need to have different business models uh, mapped out in your head or anything, anything. So do let me know, what do you normally do like when you're driving to work? So our office is uh, located in the CBD. So you can imagine going to work with traffic jam and all, but yeah it's something that i got used to i really wish we could have a hybrid working uh, environment where you sometimes work from home but yeah this is my life going to work so i do drive and then we park at the city park uh parking area which is kind of secure and affordable if you're going to do like a monthly payment um so basically today i don't have meetings which is so good <laughs> but then uh 60 percent of the time i will be uh, having meetings then 40 percent is mostly documenting and research so i was parking my car at the city park arcade uh, and I'm now walking to the office, so walk with me. This is Nyasha, the best front end developer. <laughs> Men like Baloy. Yeah. <laughs> the best accountant <laughs> ever at Afrosoft. <laughs> so, so my day starts with scrum sessions. These are like uh, 
meeting stand up meetings that we do just to update each other on what went wrong what we're working on and what is stopping us from achieving what we're supposed to work on on each project so normally i do like have three to five uh, scrum sessions in the morning depending on the number of projects that i'm doing uh, if i have to have clarity i uh, will just have to call uh, individual development team members whether the back end the front end uh, the designers and just have an alignment meeting i also conduct um, design sessions at the background we do have a screen and we always love to like see how people at other companies work like google amazon yelp just to kind of get some inspiration on how we could actually be their videos are so fun to watch their office spaces are so nice so it's actually very nice to have these uh visuals at the background just to you know make you feel like you are part of them in as much as you are there i normally drink water i love flowers so i always have flowers on my table they are other people i share an office with so like you've seen it's a pm uh, qa office so the qa people are the quality assurance people then the pm is uh, the person i work with They're also the infrastructure people in the same office the, the people we just uh, assist with uh, hardware infrastructure in the office so basically that's what i'll be doing i have to research read be on meetings and basically document a lot of stuff so being a business analyst i definitely definitely love being one it opens a lot of uh different uh perspective into the tech world i know people think technology is boring but having such positions are actually very interesting and i think with my character it actually resonates a lot because i just tend to you know be swarmed deep down into the business world in the technology space in as much as i say a lot of uh, ideas in the tech space yeah but when it comes to the professional things things that i do at work it's normally talking about how much are we saving how much is this technology solution going to cost you how much is it saving is it worth developing it so let's do it and it's always you know that kind of gap that you see with a lot of stakeholders decision making knowing that a particular solution is going to save them lots and lots and lots of money i do have uh, a stress ball that i love to you know kind of use i don't know if it's cold white stressing <laughs> distressing yeah so i use a stress board that i just love to hold because my process or my day requires a lot of thinking so i do have that i snack a lot and i take lots and lots of water throughout the day so the reason i love my job is because i get to indulge my curiosity because i love learning new things and it just extends to a general curiosity about how things work in different industries i also love making order out of chaos because there is so much mess with uh, disjointed operations and information and just putting a cohesive story and putting it into software then i love communicating with uh, pictures uh, giving like you know prototyping you know like to be able to document a requirement and have it understood in the same way but with vari variety of stakeholders so the best part is to indulge in my childhood where i get to la ask a lot of questions so, like so what would you want to see what are these reports going to help you i mean like you know just to try to understand why a particular person needs a certain type of solution so most of it i when i'm doing recommend gathering is just simply asking questions and people just opening up so i can just pose a question in, in a meeting and a lot of people are like no but with that you know just opening up on these different business rules why are you trying to limit a transaction to 25,000 a week? Why? How does it affect you? Why would you be affecting? You know, certain types of that. So I love the part where I just ask questions and everyone has to answer me. Also, just to show how software is made because there's so much that goes into software development life cycle and uh, many business stakeholders only see the tip of the iceberg. It's working. It's just a 
it's just an error message it's working it's soft it's, it's slow but uh, everyone has a contribution to make and the first step is to understand the process hence the importance of my job then also i love just uh, spot other things that not a lot of people see like you basically seeing it this is trending so yeah and then throughout the day i just listen to music this is my workspace i love uh, my spotify account just a couple of emails to people uh, chats with colleagues here and there and basically that's what i'll be doing from eight to five I go for lunch and yeah and this is me on the big screen you know because my channel is on loop because of it's a tech channel anyway so basically that's my day it's been a long day so i'm going home i'm going home now um it's been a long day i hope you enjoyed working with me and goodbye